This was the first course in the world of its kind, and it still is. Uh, and it's strongly supported by postgraduate students. So I'm a um, fourth year junior doctor um, working at Christchurch Hospital, doing my rotations through different specialties. And I'm doing the Diploma of Musculoskeletal Medicine, basically learning a most evidence-based, up-to-date um, practice. Um, things that we don't necessarily cover in great depth at medical school and don't necessarily get a lot of exposure to in the hospital. While the course was originally intended for medical practitioners, obviously a lot of other uh, health disciplines are involved in musculoskeletal matters as well, such as physiotherapists, nurses, chiropractors, osteopaths, and so on and so forth. I've been studying, taking a paper at Otago which is the pain management paper. Um, it's particularly relevant for me right now because I'm, I'm working under a new ACC pain management contract. I teach uh, anatomy, physiology, pathology and uh, image interpretation to medical imaging students. And on my particular paper there were GPs, um, arthritis educators, a pharmacist, physios, um, a real mixture of different people and you all had an opportunity to give input. So it really was a comprehensive course and thoroughly um, researched and well delivered. This is the only programme in New Zealand that is a pain oriented programme. Postgraduate certificate, postgrad diploma and master's programme. It's for any discipline who's interested in pain and I think every discipline should be interested in pain. If you look at the population of an average general practice, somewhere between 15 and 20 percent of all these people present with musculoskeletal problems. Sore backs, sore necks, sore shoulders, all these things. How, how have things been going? How, how have your pain levels been recently? Um, night time, not good at all. Uh, so our programme as a whole really encompasses that whole area of what do we do for somebody who's sore? How can we help them? How can we improve their quality of life? So what's happening is that your brain is saying that reflection is your left hand. You're fooling your brain. And because you can move your right hand without There's not a tingle. any pain, that's how powerful your brain is in changing your own experience. We teach online in the evenings, so you can be at home um, be working and still study. Um, the works, the study is relevant to your Hi, clinical awesome. practice. Can you hear me okay? Yep. Good. Welcome to the meeting. Thank you. We try to make the assessments tailored to fit. What's your pain group? Who do you see that has pain? And how can you apply what you're learning about pain and musculoskeletal management to the people that you work with in the setting that you work with? So, um, oh, well, that's great, Bronwyn. Thank you very much. We'll catch up with you next time. Yeah. Just a couple more things. We've got your index pain today, which is 80 out of 100. Nearly everyone with a musculoskeletal problem usually has a pain problem as well. You're on gabapentin, tramadol, codeine and panadol. Is that right? Yeah. People don't walk in and say, doctor, I've got something wrong with my lumbar spine. They come in and say, I've got a sore back. So the two things, musculoskeletal medicine and pain and pain management, are closely linked in that respect. Yeah, it's been a really good course to do. And I've found it's given me, you know, the extra dimension, um, coming up with differential diagnoses for patients and just keeping um, in the back of our mind that, you know, musculoskeletal conditions can masquerade as pain that traditionally would have been thought as a surgical, uh, you know, a general surgical problem or, you know, a neurological problem. There are lots of uh, people now like physiotherapists, osteopaths, chiropractors, mental therapists who are interested in improving their knowledge and you know advancing their careers. Students who come in to do our study not only want their practical clinical skills upgraded so they can handle um, a really complex group of people but they also tend to be leaders in the field. They are the ones who are going to inform policy. The other thing that's worth remembering is there is no other place in the world that you will be able to take a course like this.